All right, already knee deep into it. My brother-in-law was here yesterday, helped out a whole lot. I'm just basically removing bit by bit, piece by piece this wall. I'm trying to save some of these long studs that don't have too many nails and screws in them. They've been used all kinds of miscellaneous places. But yeah, that's the kitchen starting to go. I'd take that last cabinet out, but I can't get the water to shut off, so that'll wait till I have a plumber here. I was thinking about saving that dishwasher, but it doesn't look as new as I thought it was at first. It's probably just better off going to get a new one. That wall up there, it's just a little hip wall that's got to come down. Got most of that stupid pantry out. Got to get it out now because I can't remove this cabinet. That's going to be all that much more difficult. So I'll take down the rest of this trough for light, and then go after this wall. Get to the point where I can patch that wall in right there. A lot of drywall to do in this place. But yeah. That's where I'm at right now, and once again, yeah, I get to work, get to going, and I don't film anything, so I guess you kind of got to put up with that as being my style. Did two loads to the dump this morning, and this will generate another couple loads in and of itself anyway, so, <coughs> oh, lots of dust. I'm going to get back to it. Snow shovels work perfect for it. Throw that one in your toolbox. one whole board down all they did was tack it up with some nails here and there they didn't screw it at all they will get it a whole piece and what I'm loving that I see here is no plumbing or electrical in this space so I can tear it all out at will it means I can actually take a sawzall to it and make my life a little easier because prying these boards apart these nails are actually holding pretty well but yeah this wall Obviously lights and a three-way cord. There's three ways all over this place. I gotta, gotta get an electrician in there to take care of that. That right there I think is some sort of... What it looks like it goes to is the old swamp cooler that no longer exists. So that's gotta get torn out. Gotta get an electrician to test all that crap out. And why is there so much wiring going to it? I don't know. And then what's that up there? I don't know what that junction box is. 
that out of the way. Oh, fire alarm or something. Seems to have a red glow on it, so I don't know if that system works or not. So I don't know, and that's HVAC, the current one. And that's that box I'm thinking is, since I had it X'd over, that was the old swamp cooler attic fan or something. Let my electrician take a look at that and get rid of it. Because now with central air, this, this house doesn't need that. All right, let's continue tearing it down. just stop being a one-man job that's a cast iron sink and that's at least a two-man lift there's no way I can get her up and out it occurs to me you can smash stainless steel this ought to be fun I had a thought this morning I should wear my military boots. That would have prevented all of that. Given way too much blood to this whole project. cabinets with water damage in them before. This is not how you do it. They shimmed it up some exercise shims on top of the old freaking particle board that was original to the cabinet and then put OSB on top of that. You got a damaged cabinet because of water. Strip all of that out and then build you some one by framing underneath and then you go and put, if you can get it, some marine grade, pro, marine grade plywood and then melamine on top of that, give it a little bit of waterproofness. Best idea is actually to simply go replace the cabinet. But a lot of people can't do that, so simply repairing it, you don't do it this way. There are better ways to do it. Holy cow. Alright, I'm going to shut you off while I clean up. Come back, it'll be clean and empty. Alright, here we go. All done. All stripped out now. I just need electrician and plumber in here, but here's a fun discovery. Previous owner had to know about this. But you see those water stains around the plywood. The plywood's okay. But this this floor here was a mess. Just a dirty, rotten mess. And they're fixed. It's like something you see on Homes on Homes. They simply just spackled over it with joint compound and then laid down that new underlayment here. Disgustingly, ridiculously stupid. No, so now now I do have to I have to rip out the entire freaking floor. At least in the kitchen area, because obviously it's still okay here in the dining area. But basically from this line over, all that's gotta come out. So I've got to I was hoping to be out of demolitions today, be done with it, but I'm not. 
and I need the plumber in here. I've got the water shut off right now, but this thing's still dripping. Mm, I'll have to admit fault here. I nicked that, so it's dripping. Got the water off, though, but I, everything upstairs has still got water in it. I need to find a lower point downstairs and drain it. Maybe that's... I find something down there in the mechanical room to drain the water out, then I won't have to worry about that soaking all that up. But yeah, there's where I'm at. That's demolition of the kitchen. Ended up taking it a lot farther than I thought I would, but kind of had to. Didn't really have a choice when you open things up, you start finding things that concern you, and you start pulling them out, and that's about how far it took me today. I'll just patch that up. That'll be fine, but end of demolitions. So in the kitchen anyway, except for that floor. Yeah, next time you see this, I'll be laying hardy backer and, and new underlayment down. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.